Hello, my name's Alice Goldie and I'm the IT trainer from Coventry University London. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick introduction to Microsoft Office 365. So, firstly, let's have a look at what is Microsoft Office 365? Well, it's a collection of productivity apps and cloud services for creating and storing documents, collaborating with others, and much more. And all students at any of the campuses in the Coventry University group get this for free while they're studying with us. Next, what apps are there in Microsoft Office 365? I'm going to go through some of the most important ones and then mention some of the rest, but there's actually quite a lot. Firstly, OneDrive. So this is cloud storage where you can securely store your documents. Now, because it's in the cloud, you can access them from anywhere just using your university student email and password to log in. So you can access them on your laptop, on a phone, on a tablet, on a university PC, just using your username and password. So no one else can access them unless you choose to share a document, which you can do. Now, another good thing about keeping your documents in the cloud is that they're backed up. It's much safer than storing your work or your assignments on a USB stick because every year people always lose USB sticks or it gets corrupted or something. Much easier if you keep it in the cloud. Final good thing is if something goes wrong with your document or you mess it up, you can actually return it to a previous version in OneDrive. It keeps the versions of your document so you can go back one if you wish. Right, next, Microsoft Word. Now, this I'm pretty sure you've used. It's the really standard application for creating professional standard documents. This is what you'll be using to create most of your written assignments. And of course, you can include pictures, tables, graphs, all sorts of things in it. PowerPoint is another one. So this is mainly used for creating presentations, but you may also need to make a poster as part of your course and PowerPoint does pretty well for that too. So Excel is used mainly to manage and analyze data. It can also create graphs and do calculations. And actually many more careers and professions now use data to help make decisions. And Excel is one of the most widely used tools to help you with this. So it's not just used by people studying finance, anyone making business decisions, or just trying to make sense of a lot of information will probably be using Excel at some point. Now, OneNote is another really useful app. It's a powerful virtual notebook. And any information you keep in here synchronizes across different devices. So you can take notes in a lecture using your laptop, but if you're out and about and you see something which you'd really like to include in one of your assignments later on, you can just take a picture on your phone and put it in your notebook. It can also index your notes so that you can search through them and find them. You can include web pages, um, anything else. It's, it's really powerful. I would recommend you have a look at it. Now, some of the other apps you might find useful are here. So Teams, you may well be using to um, communicate with your classmates or to um, attend lectures if you're doing that online. Forms can be useful if you need to take a survey um, for an assignment, do some research. Outlook is for managing your email. Planner can help you by looking after your tasks. So you can put your tasks in here and give them priorities and track them. Sway is another app for making presentations. Stream holds videos and to do is related to Planner. So you may well be using some of these. Okay, now we're on to how do you access Office 365? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just go to the cloud, and by that I mean you go to office.com. 
and you sign in using your university student email and your password and then you get a window which looks pretty much like this and you've got all the apps down the left hand side and your most recently used documents in the middle. If you want to install the apps on your laptop it's really easy I recommend you do. You just go to office.com and you click on this install office button. Works for Windows and for Mac. If you'd like some guidance on doing that then I recommend that you have a look in the new students module in Aula when you've started enrolling because there are some video guides in there on how to do it. You can also download the apps for your phone or tablet. You just go to the App Store or Play Store Search for Microsoft and they'll all come up. You can see in my little picture I've got Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, etc. Finally, where to learn some more about any of these apps? Well, the new students module in Aula has some video demos of how to install and set up the important ones. There's also an IT skills check that you can do to see if your skills are at a level which should be fine for your course or if you need to improve them a bit. And it gives you some pointers about how to do that. Now, all students have access to LinkedIn Learning, which is a really good online training site. And it has short video courses on Microsoft apps and lots of other stuff as well. So it's it's a really good resource. Finally, the Microsoft website has some useful things on and they've got short guides and some videos to help you do some things you might want to do in some of these apps.